All right, so this is going to be a video on how to uh, get the media server up and running on the PlayStation 3. If you don't know what a media server is, basically you can have all the content on your computer, more media being like uh, music, videos, and pictures, and they can be on your computer and you can have them on your PS3 but not put them on the hard drive. It's all over the internet. It can be Ethernet or wireless, and there's a program that you're going to need, so I'll talk you all through that. So, um, yeah, it's it's really cool to have everything on your PS3 without taking up hard drive space. So, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get started. You can do this with Windows Media Player 11, but I don't like Windows Media Player like at all. So, I prefer to use a program called Simple Center. Uh, I'll put a, a link in the description of this video on where you can download it. It's freeware, so it's pretty cool. So, I'm just going to go ahead and install this real quick. Obviously English. United States next. I accept. All right, yeah, if this takes too long, I'll just cut this out. Okay, so I'm going to run it. And this is a very basic, straightforward program, so there's nothing really complicated about it. It's just a really, like it says, simple program. And it's, like I said before, it's freeware with Twitter in the background. So, sometimes it does take a while to initialize, but I also do have a Camtasia running, which is recording this, so it's running a little slower than usual, but it, it'll still work. Okay, you're going to get this welcome to Super Center business. Just pretty much hit next. Uh, I don't think you have to do any of this. Alright, here you go. You can have, you can select, um, excuse me, you can select what paths you want or you can add new ones. So here's for audio, yeah, for audio, pictures, and video. So I want, I don't want this one. There you go, okay, you click remove. So, you can add new folders and everything like I said, but I like mine to just have administrator documents and then whatever. So then, once those are selected, you just hit next. I'll have it start automatically, and uh, this should be, excuse me, this should be enabled um, by default, but make if it's not checked, make sure it is. Now this might take a minute because it's adding all my music, all like everything that was in those folders that you selected, all your music, pictures, whatever, it's gonna add them. So uh, this is probably gonna take a while, so I'll just cut the video here. All right, so now that it's done um, adding all your files, just click finished, and you should yeah be brought to the main menu here. And so here's all your music. You can sort it by artist. You can come up here to pictures if it ever stops scrolling. There we go. Loading pictures. I don't have any pictures on here because I just restored it, so I just put music and videos on here for now. And then there's your movies, and you know. Alright, so now I'm going to switch over to the PS3. Alright, so here I am by my PS3, and I figured I would just take this guy, uh, take this time to show you guys my new setup. So, I got a slight TV upgrade. Let's see if I can get this right. It's a 20 inch now instead of a 13. And it's flat screen, so it's pretty pretty sweet for me. And um, here's my PS3 down there. And so, if you couldn't tell, I have the sound and the video going through the stereo here. And then I have the there's a video out on the back, and I have that going to the TV there. So the sound comes out of my stereo, and the video obviously goes to the TV, and it sounds much better. So. Yeah, I figured I'd give it a try. It's and 11 o'clock. Thank you, even though it's way off. But, um, yes, yeah, so, pretty good setup, I think. My friend let me borrow a PSP. So, I've been playing around with the remote play and stuff, so that's pretty cool. But back to the point of this video. So, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the PS3 on.
I'll move this on to you. Alright, so once you have the media server thing going on your PC, you may have media server turned off on the PS3. So to enable it, go to network settings down here. And it'll, it might be disabled, it might not be. But either way, if it is, just enable it. And then you might have to wait a few seconds. And then eventually you'll see there how it just pops up. It should just pop up, but you might have to search for it. In my case, I didn't. It just popped up. So, yeah, if you just click it. And then it'll load all your movies that are on your PC. And then you just hit X. It takes a second for them to play, depending on your internet connection, how fast it is. But after a few seconds, it'll play just fine. You'll see in the lower left of the screen, the little play arrow. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. No, you can't. But my the Wi-Fi light on my PS3 is going nuts. And of course, it also works with music. And what's nice about that program on the PC is that you can have all your music, artists, whatever, it automatically does it for you. So just albums. And go, uh, Fire from the Tomb. Thank you, Twitter. So we'll get some more of ages in here. Yeah, there's that stereo I was talking about. Sorry for the phone in the back. So yeah, it's it's pretty much that simple. Um, there's not really all that. It's not really that complicated. You just have to set it up, like install it on the PC, and you just everything else just kind of goes from there. So if you guys are having problems or if you have any issues, just let me know, and I'll try to answer them as fast and easy as I can. But yeah, this is just a really quick way to have everything on your PS3 without having to transfer it to your hard drive. And um, as far as formats, I think this plays like, in my, I think it plays ABIs. Um, I don't know. If it doesn't, you'll have to convert them, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure of all the formats. You can probably just Google it. And I recommend Google because not enough people are Googling these days. But anyway, so yeah, and then if you want to disable it, obviously, like before, come down here and disable. So it's that easy to get everything on your PS3 without taking up any hard drive space. So if you found this helpful, uh, please subscribe to my channel, whatever, and I hope you found it helpful and all that other good stuff, so thanks for watching.